Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Right, let me just uh, sort out my <clears throat> tablet as usual. Who have we got? We've got Karen in and Marianne, Sandra, um, Sherry, Ali, Sally Jo. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Um, right, I'm just going to wait for my... Oh, goodness, my, my tablet is being silly. Let me come out and go back in again. One day I'll get this technology thing sorted out. One day. Um, hi, Liz, as well. Hi, Cindy. Oh, yeah, you're in Phoenix, aren't you, Cindy? I forgot. Yeah, you're in in uh, Phoenix. How is it in Phoenix? Is it good? I hope the weather's good. Um, hi, Marianne. Hi, how is everybody? Uh, I'm probably a bit zoomed in, but I don't want to do the dance of the zooms, so I'm going to stick with what I've got. Um, let me just change my quality as always. There we go. <clears throat> Hi, Tracy. Hi to everybody who's new as well. The craft stash hop yesterday went very well. I was very pleased with that. Very good. And it's good to have lots of new people as well. Um, joining and subscribing and watching and the rest of it. So, yeah, it's really good. Uh, hopefully I'll be asked to do another one. <laughs> you never know. Um, hi, Anne. Hi, Vicky. I'm glad you managed to sort it out in the end, Vicky. Um, hi, Tracy. Hi, Terrazona. Vicky got the new papers. I know. I'm going to go through them in a minute. Hi, Sue in South Wales. Oh, South Wales. Nice. What part of South Wales? I, we used to go holiday in Saundersfoot. Absolutely love it down there. It's beautiful. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, I loved it too. It was great fun. It was great fun. Um, <clears throat> it was just nice. And it's nice as well because obviously there were new crafters there that I hadn't seen before. So, um, yeah, so it was good. Let me just move things out of the way. Hi, Anne. Um, hi, Marianne in Denmark. Right, I'm going to do a quick flip while I wait for more people to join. I'm going to do a quick flip through the new packs. This is the new pack for this week. The Pastel Posies, well, for this fortnight. Um, also, just a little before I go through this, in fact, actually, let me go through it first and then I'll tell you about this for membership because I need a few more people to join, so I'm going to repeat myself. So, yeah, Pastel Posies. I thought we'd go nice and pastel. It is quite spring-like, but I thought on these doomy horrible days that we're having in the uk i thought, I thought we, we need a bit of brightness a bit of spring so um this is the pack i've got hi donna you're finally getting autumn weather oh we've definitely got autumn weather um so i've gone kind of marbly with stripes watercolor floral all that kind of thing um so we've got these lovely pinks and lilacs soft greens and things um and then more marbles that one's slightly different to this one different colors and then we've got this one which i'm actually used because i'm using these today um you can't see it very well but you'll be able to see on the um youtube uh short i've done like a YouTube of all the different pages and there's some extra pages in this one as well so um oh flanny and uh, this one's it okay yeah yeah hi sweet pea um so we've got like a stripe um a pink floral another stripe this one i've cut up i'm using that today uh, another one with like pinks and purples, a diagonal stripe, um, a pretty kind of pink and sort of yellowy orangey floral, and then a kind of a matching watercolour page to go with it. And then this one, which I thought looked quite oriental actually, so watercolour stripe and I've done like a, it's like almost like a cherry blossom over the top. And then I've also done in this pack, because I had a couple of people say about how it'd be nice to have some sentiments. And I thought, yeah, actually it would be quite nice to have some like ephemera, some sentiments. So I've done these. So you've got happy birthday. There's a get well soon, which I'm actually using in today's card. Uh, a thank you on your special day just for you. And then some little watercolour flowers you can cut out. Um, and then I've also done the same again, but in blank. So if you want to stamp your own greeting, you can. Um, and some little watercolour things there. And then another set here. I've kept it all quite generic. So happy birthday, get well, with love, best wishes. Just really, you know, basic ones. Um, because everybody uses those. And again, you can cut those out. And again, some little bits along the bottom here that you can just cut out. Um, if you want to print them out slightly bigger and resize them so they're bigger, you can. Um, and then just a blank sheet again with just ones that you can stamp in yourself. So that is the pack. Hi Shelly, hi Liz, hi Jill. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really like this pack, actually. Uh, this is a, a pack I think I shall be using a lot of. <laughs> I'm going to be printing more of these out. So, yeah, so I did that. So I've just done a few little bits. 
Um, so we're actually using that today in today's um, thingy bob. Yeah, I, I thought the greetings would be good. Um, and I just thought if I make them, because I don't like fussy cutting. I know some people do. Um, and I actually used this one, but with it's got get well soon in it. Uh, and it is quite, for me, that's quite fussy. But I've managed to kind of cut it out without too much hassle. So, yeah, I just thought as well. Because if you've got a scan and cut and stuff like that, or, a, you know, a cutty-outy machine, uh, a technical term there, um, you could probably, you know, work out a way of sorting that out. So they're not too fussy. Um, you can kind of make them as fussy or as least fussy as you want, really. But I thought it was quite nice to have blanks as well, because you may well have stamps that will fit, or peel-offs that will fit. Or maybe you're good at handwriting and you could do your own. So I just thought, you know, well, you could put a little picture in there. I don't know. There's lots of different options you could do. So I just thought, let me just do some that are blank. Some that have got generic greetings in. And then that kind of suits everybody. And there's a few little ephemera. As I said, they're quite small on the sheet. I know, Cutty out. I'm sorry. Oh, my brain's not working today. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, so along the bottom here, you've got some uh, little... They are quite small. I was thinking they were going to come bigger than that. But it's fine. As I said, you can always enlarge them. Um, I might well do in another pack. I might well do some of these that are a bit bigger. We'll see. It's just difficult on a computer screen. My brain can't cope with how big things are. So I wasn't sure if these were going to be about the right size. But I, they, they look like they have. They look like they are about the right size. So that's good. So, um, so yeah, so that's the pack. So with that in mind, if you are a silver member then I would suggest you don't buy it today because from tomorrow, from the, from the 1st of November, and you will be getting a post um, on YouTube about this shortly, but from the 1st of November, I'm changing the way I'm doing the silver because what used to happen was silver members, they would get all of the... Um... So let me just start from the beginning. Okay, let me start from the beginning. So anybody who's new here who doesn't know about my membership, okay, I have a membership, two different membership tiers, so you have bronze, so that's two ninety nine a month, and for that you get loyalty badges next to your name, custom emojis to use in the chat, which Cindy does quite often, so that's good. Um, member shout outs, email access, so you can email me to have a chat or whatever you want to do, give me suggestions, etc. Um, and priority reply to comments. Now, priority reply to comments at the moment doesn't really feature because I reply to everybody, but when the channel gets bigger. I won't be able to reply to everybody's comments on the video. So in that instance, bronze members will get reply, whereas other people may or may not, <laughs> depending on how busy I am. So um, hi, Nicole. So yeah. And then silver members, you pay $5.99 a month. Now previously, so up till the 1st of November, um, you got one digital pack a month and that was it. So what I've decided to change it, and I did mention this, I think, last week, because I'm having trouble trying to keep up with everybody to email the packs out to people, I decided that instead of doing that, what we're going to do is, as a silver member, you'll get all of your bronze perks, which you had before, and then you're going to get a 50% off discount code to use on Etsy paper packs. And you can use as much as you want across as many as you want. You don't have to just use it once in the month. You can use it as many times as you want in the month. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So that code will come out on a post just for silver members today. Okay, and it will be letting you know about um, the code and you know what it does, etc. So just bear that in mind. So if you want to become a silver member, please do. Five ninety nine a month, you get all of the bronze um, perks plus you get a fifty percent off discount code, which you can use at any time across any pack on my Etsy store. So just bear that in mind. Um, yeah so that's that right so let me put these away and then i can show you oh, the card we're doing today um also those of you who saw the craft stash um the craft stash hop yesterday if you liked any of the products please use the links in the description below the video because if you click through those links i get a bit of commission just a few pennies of commission if you buy anything on craft stash it just helps me, obviously, as a channel, help me to keep going because this is my main form of income. So just bear that in mind if you do, you know, if you do click through. So I've actually made my sample card using that pack, that Autumn Whisper pack. So I've used the always here for you sentiment that was in the paper pack. And then I've used um, two of the papers. So I've used this one with the border. So that's really nice and it works really well on this card. 
because it then means that where on so on the card i'm doing today we're doing this card but i've got a pattern piece on this back so i wouldn't be able to write my message whereas on this you can i, I don't have to put an extra white piece in so that's quite cool so this is the one it's called a, a cascading pleats card and i first saw it on well i saw a, something similar to this a while ago and i think it was like a double version um but this one i saw was susan campfield and so i've done a five by seven portrait I've also figured out a five by seven landscape and a six by six. So depending on how well we get on, then we might go on to the six by six measurement today. I have cut the pieces out, so, <laughs> so we could do it. We could do it. Um, yes, Donna, you've done a smaller card like this one. Yes, this one's been around for a bit, this has. But um, And I have done a version of this, but I I'm sure it was a double. I'm sure it wasn't just on one side. But anyway, when I saw Susan's, I was like, hmm. I'd quite like to have a go at this. And also the way that she'd done it was a lot simpler than the one that I saw. So, yeah, I just thought, let's do this version. It's nice and simple. Hi, Anne. Um, yeah, so that's the one we're going to do today. So let's get started. As I said, this is um, the links for all of this is already in the description below. I've already put them in. And um, the measurements I've already put in. Um, yeah. I've tried to get as much done as possible prior to the live stream to make things easy for afterwards. Um, thank you, Donna. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this this pack. I just like the fact they've gone autumnal colours and they've also got some pinks in there and the sentiments as well mix and match between the two. Um, and I like the borders. I just It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful pack. All of that bundle, to be honest, is beautiful. I love the stamps. There's one here Just I cut out to use on something and then didn't use in the end. You are never more than a thought away. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it a bit closer. But I love the fact, you know, the way it cuts out. It cuts out. I mean, I didn't cut it out quite as well as I probably should have done, but it's just beautiful. I've heat embossed that, that message. But yeah, they're beautiful, beautiful dies and stamp sets. So yeah, go and have a look. And also because you're supporting mental health charities as well. So that's always a plus. Um, right. So let's get started with this then. So we need, right, now I haven't put any tape on the back of any of these layers just because I didn't have time. So you're going to need a 7 by 9 base card and you're also going to need a 4 by 6 and a 3 by 5 as well. But you don't need to score those, you only need to score, um, you only need to score the 7 by 9. Um, Cindy, yes, you should be able to get those in the USA. So if you go on to Etsy... Um, you should be able to if you have any problems downloading them because some people have had problems downloading from Etsy all you need to do is just drop me a message on Etsy and I'll just send you the link through so if you just do the purchase and then if you have any problems downloading the links just let me know there's one lady who every time I see that she's bought it I know I need to send her the links because she struggles to download it I think Apple with Apple sometimes you have problems um so if that is the case just let me know and i'll just literally just send you the links it's not a problem but at least then i haven't got to check who who's had what pack etc etc i just <laughs> just can't keep up i just can't keep up and so i've ended up with people you know not having packs for certain months i try and contact them i can't get hold of them and it's just long so um yeah i just thought let me just do a code and then it's easy oh sorry um the craft stash ones i think so not sure who they're delivered to, to be honest with you. Um, if you head over to the, if you click through one of my links at the bottom and then go on to, so it will take you onto the Craft Stash website. And then if you have a look, there should be a section for delivery and it should tell you there. I'm pretty sure they do ship abroad. I'm pretty sure they do. So, um, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, Sherry, you're working items for cr uh, holiday craft shows. Can't wait to get the new paper pack so you can craft for spring. Yeah, first snow due tonight. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> right, so on your 7x9 base card, along the long inch, long edge, long edge, you're going to score every inch. You're going to score 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches, and 4 inches. And that is all the scoring that we need for now. So that's nice and easy. Then we're going to need a cutting mat. I'm also going to need a pencil. I'm trying not to jog my camera as I get my pencil out. Ooh. And a ruler. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn this round. So on this um, first 
well it's not first score line like the last score line this one here the four inch score line let me just move this over i don't know if you can see my um i don't know if you can see my score lines but my score lines are here so i've got my one inch two inch three inch and four inch score line so on the four inch score line you just want to um oh no it's not, you don't do anything on the four inch so on the three inch so one two three on the three inch score line you want to score mark down at an inch from the top and make a mark and then on the next score line so the second score line again you want to make a mark at one inch down from the top and then on the next one you want to mark down two inches and on the very edge you want to mark down two inches okay like that and so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm just going to do it straight cut it i'm not going to bother drawing it on so what we want to do is as i was saying so we've we've marked down one inch from the top down on the third score line the three inch score line on the second inch score line we've done the same thing on the one inch score line we've come down two inches and along the edge we've come down two inches hi valerie <laughs> just have a few technical difficulties there um and then what we're going to do is we are going to make a little mark there i'm going to do our diagonal cut from the top of the fourth line to the inch down on the three inch score line so here like that then we're going to go along so we're going to go from that one i'm just going to cut them and then you'll see where i'm where i'm doing it um, I have done a tutorial for this, but as a landscape. And so literally this cut here is the same on all, all sizes and shapes. Um, all the measurements are the same. Everything's the same. So that's basically what, what you want, like a stair, a stairway. So I've got an, uh, and I've actually not quite cut that right. But anyway, um, so you're going from this last score line and you're going diagonal down to the third score line and then across to the second, down to the first, and then across. So that is what you end up with. Right. Oh, Diane, honestly, I t I just it's just such a mess. And I really need to tidy up my craft room because it's getting ridiculous in here. But it's just, I just don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have time. Like, I desperately would love just to have a, a couple of days or a week just to go through it all, blitz it, de-stash it, sort it out. I don't have that time so yeah right so then what we need to do is wonky as well now but anyway i'm not going to bother messing with it anymore because i'm annoyed with it so then what we need to do is we're going to fold them so this um four inch fold is literally going to be like a card blank so you kind of make it like a card blank yeah it does look a bit like your money it's like my money flow chart and my time flow chart or then my time flow chart people like that <laughs> So you're going to do just a normal like fold and then these are just all concertina so you do a mountain and a valley then a mountain and a valley all the way along so that's that one that is that one it's a good job it's an easy card today dear me if it was complicated i i, I think i would have given up by now and just gone <laughs> just left you all see you later everyone right so that is that like that so you end up with this little concertina pleaty bit on the edge like that i'm just going to need to angle this because it's not let's just bear with and i'm sorry you're swinging in the wind let me just do it like that and then i can move it in a bit better there we go it's a bit closer to me now right so then what you want to do is i would probably stick your back one on first so on this piece here you're going to need one piece of mat card that is five and Sorry, it's four and three quarter by six and three quarter. So that goes there. And one piece of pattern that is four and a half by six and a half. I'm going to do mine that way around. And so actually, no, I'm going to do mine that way around. Yeah. And so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. So, yeah, my question that I was trying to ask you. Um, uh, what? <laughs> so hang on, I'm just looking. When I was... Um, <laughs> When I was on the zoom in and out, I didn't keep up with the, the comments. I'm just reading back now and they're making me laugh. Um, let me just hang on. Let me stick this down and I'm going to check the comments. So, yeah, the question I was trying to ask as I was zooming in and zooming out and doing the dance of the zooms um, is when, yeah, so if somebody, if you say, for example, if you leave a comment on somebody's video, do you like it when the creator 
replies to your comment because the reason I asked the question is because I reply to everyone's comments because I just think if you've been nice enough to leave me a nice comment uh, you know that's the least I can do is say thank you so um So I'm just reading everyone's comments again. So yeah, so uh, but I know that there was one craft um, website that I used to post my pictures on, and I had a couple of people sort of say, "Oh, you don't have to say thank you every time I leave a comment." And so then it got me thinking. Well, maybe people don't like it. Maybe it irritates some people. So let me know in the comments. Do you like it when people, you know, like if I if you leave a comment, do you like it if I reply? Because I personally do. So that's just me. But um, I'm just interested. I might do it as a little poll, a little vote on YouTube. So, yeah, I, I personally just think that it does take a lot of my time. But the thing is, I just think that it's just polite, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like if someone's bothered to leave a nice comment and I get some. And I think I read every single comment. So if you leave a comment, I, I read it. I read all of them. And that's another reason why I reply. So then, you know, I do read your comment <laughs> and I might just put a thank you and a smiley face. But I have actually read your comment. Um, and I appreciate it because I get some very nice, especially yesterday, I had some lovely comments. Well, every every time I post a video, I had some lovely comments. And I was like, oh, you don't understand how much that makes my day. So, um, yeah. So just a question, really, because I'm intrigued. Obviously, as the channel grows, I'm not going to be able to do it on everybody. But I just thought in the meantime, let me ask. Let me ask that question and see, because some people find it irritating, which... I don't understand, but that's just me. I just, you know, we're all different, aren't we? So <laughs> there we go. Um, so Valerie, you like it. Uh, Sally, you like it. Shelley, yeah, you do, Cindy. Yeah, so generally you do. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's nice. I, I would love to do it. I, I would love to get a comment back from, you know, if I leave another creator. A, um, a comment but that's just me uh, good yeah well that's the thing Jill that's that's the that's that's exactly what and the thing is well I feel like I just think you know as I said some of the comments are just so nice well all the comments are nice I rarely get horrible comments rarely in the early days I had a couple they weren't even horrible they were just critical but I was like you know what it's fine I know I understand people have their issues some people want to troll whatever it's fine you know <laughs> I'm not going to lose sleep over it it's fine right so back to the card and then we'll chat a bit more in a minute <laughs> so on your four by six piece you want a matte piece that's three and three quarter by five and three quarter and a pattern that's three and a half by five and a half so that's going to go on there like that and then you also need on your three by five you need a mat that's two and three quarter by four and three quarter and a pattern that's two and a half by four and a half. So that's going to go on there like that. So I'm going to stick those down. You also, I'm going to try out as well um, this new B600 glue. Now I got this and I haven't done the video for it yet, but I've done a In Love Art Shop order. And uh, this is one of the things I ordered and I just thought, oh, let me give it a go and see. And it comes out really fine. Look how fine that is. And I don't know if you can see. Because it looks like it was going to be good. And I thought, let me just see how it is. So it's got really fine nozzle. If you can see that really fine tip it's got on the end. And on the actual lid, it comes with like a pin attached to the nib. So you just put it in like that. And I just thought, like, mm, okay. So we'll see. It does smell quite a lot. It's actually got a stronger smell than Yoohoo. So if you don't like smells, then this is not the glue for you. But I'm thinking it might be useful. Probably not for matte and layering. But quite possibly, oh, it's strong. It's not, you haven't even got much wiggle time. So I think it might be good for sticking down small, you know, like die cuts, things like that. I don't want to use that. I want to use this. Small die cuts. Um, yeah, like things that are intricate because that's got such a fine nozzle on it. So I think I might save it for that. Um, right, back to the comments. Um, Adrian, I think because then they feel answered to say something back again, just a heart. Yeah, okay, so some people just want hearts. See, I'm just thinking as the channel gets bigger, you might end up just with a smiley face or a heart. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But know that I will always be reading them. Even if I can't reply, I will always be reading them. But um, yeah, I do I do try. I just, like I said, I just think it's polite. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
I think we all we like to acknowledge it. Yeah, I get that. Um, I just, yeah. For me, I, I, as well, because I'm just thinking as a viewer myself of other people's channels, you know, I don't expect everybody, like someone like Sam, I wouldn't expect her to reply to my comment. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's busy. She has lots and lots and lots of people commenting. She's not going to be able to have time to comment to everybody. You know, people who are, you know, got bigger channels, I get it, you know? Um, and so if they then do reply, you're like, oh my goodness, they replied. Uh, <laughs> it just makes you feel special, I think. That's just me, I don't know. But yeah, I think most people do. So, okay, that's cool. So I'm going to keep on replying just to comment, just, you know, while I still can. If it gets bigger and I can't, then know that I have seen your comment because I will still read them. Even if I can't reply to them, I will still read them. Um, so... Exactly. Well, the thing is, Diane, is that you are all part of my group. Do you know what I mean? Like, even though we've never met in person, you guys are part of my group and you are, I really value and appreciate all of you. Like, I really do. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, I really appreciate you guys because without you, I wouldn't have a channel. So, you know, and I just appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, I don't think it goes unnoticed. It really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. I'm so grateful to have the job I have. To absolutely love what I do and be able to create for a living you know it's just and as I said at the moment it's not paying the bills hopefully it will do at some point but it's um, it's getting there you know it's on its way up and that craft st stash hop was great I was so over the moon when they asked me um so yeah it's just good it's just good I've got new people on the live I can see because there's like 46 people in at the moment which is great it's, just, it's really good I think the first live stream I ever had um I had about 70 I was shocked I couldn't believe it. I was 70 people on my on my um on my live stream I couldn't believe it I was like wow okay um but yeah but usually we run about 30 40 people on on who come you know who can tune in for a live which is cool I'm happy. I'm happy for anybody, to be fair. I don't expect much in life, you know. <laughs> Lou Collins always replies mostly after the live. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I was thinking, like, you know, when I, when I do tutorial, not so much live streams, but when I do tutorial, because I do try and mention everyone's, well, I definitely read everyone's comments in the lives if I can, unless it's going, you know, so quick that I can't see. Um, but, yeah, no, I was thinking more like, you know, on tutorial videos. If someone leaves a, a message saying, oh, lovely card, you know, that looks great or whatever. Um, I do try and uh, I do try and leave a reply on those. Um, on the live, it's not always if I'm in the middle of doing something and I'm concentrating, I can't always be looking at the messages. So I do try. But um, right. So we're here. So thank you, Karen. Yes, it is. It's uh, I love this card. I think it's it's so easy to do. When I first saw it, I thought, oh. Is this going to be a tricky one? But it's just not. So now what we want to do is on this section here, I'm just going to put some glue. So this is like the second section where you've got the, it's just literally a rectangle. It's not sloped at the top. And then you're going to take your four by six and that is going to stick on there like that. I'm just going to fold it in a little bit. I'm not going to put any kind of mat or anything on these um, pleaty pieces because... There's no technical term for you, pleaty pieces, because I don't think I need to. So that's that one. And that is actually a little bit lower. I've cut that a little bit lower, but that's fine. It's it's not a problem. And then on this front one here, we're going to do the same. So we're going to just come over here and put some glue on there. I've gone back to Yoohoo because I think this V6000 is great, but I think it's more for delicate things. And then this is going to stick over the top there, making sure it's in line at the bottom, in line at the side. And then that is the base of your card. So as you can see, it stands up nicely, folds down nicely. Don't go too thick with your base card. This one is about a 350. And I think it's a little bit too much, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> Shelley, you can always rely on me for a, a good technical term. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you don't want to go too thick. I have gone quite thick with this one. Uh, it makes it sturdy, don't get me wrong. Uh, but all of these base layers are like 350. And then the mats uh, are probably 280, I would say, 250, 280, something like that. And the pattern's obviously one, what did I print it out on? 
120, I think I printed it out on the, the, the um, paper. So, yeah. So then I have gone ahead and fussy cut out a, a little greeting. And this is one of the ones that is in the digital pack. So, and I'm really pleased with the way that that's come out. And what I did was actually, I just loosely kind of cut around the, um, the sentiment and then I stuck it onto a piece of card and then I've cut rounds. So I'm just using an adhesive sheet. I used the um, dot and dab A5 adhesive sheets. So I've stuck it onto a piece of card and then I've then proper fussy cut round. So that is now nice and stable, you know, nice and stable. So I'm now going to go ahead and stick this. And I was wondering, I either stick it sort of there or I go with like a halfway house kind of a job. And I think I might go there. I quite like it coming off, although I feel like it needs to be. Mm, I feel like it needs to be on the actual panel. I think I'm going to go with it on the panel. I think it needs to be on the panel. So I am going to now use, I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use silicon glue. Or am I going to use foam? No, I'm going to use foam pads. I'm going to use foam pads because if I use silicon glue, I've got to wait for it to dry. And then we have that risk of me accidentally knocking it and it going everywhere. So we're going to use pads. So it's pretty much all of that, apart from this little bit of foliage, needs pads on it. And you might see there, I kind of didn't have quite enough card because it was an off cut, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, it's not that, it's not that bad. So we're going to go ahead and stick this on. And then who would like to see the six by six version? Because I have cut a six by six set out. So if you want to see the six by six, let me know in the comments. Because what are we on now? We're on, yeah, we've only been on for like half an hour, 40 minutes. So not too bad. So if you want to see the 6x6 version, let me know. If not, I will do it as a, just a tutorial. I'm not doing my, whatever I do in the live, I'm kind of not managing to do as a tutorial as well. So if you want to see, say for example, you're now replaying this. Maybe you're watching this back. I'm not talking to you guys on the chat. Obviously, I'm talking to anybody who's watching this later if you're watching this back and you don't really like live streams then um just skip through all the chattiness i don't chat too much uh not compared with some people um but yeah just skip through um because i probably won't be doing a tutorial for it i just haven't got the time to do it all over again as a tutorial or to edit the video so yeah right so there you go so there you have your card so what you can do obviously if you want to you can add extra bits in here you can add um, extra bits in here. If you want to, you can do it so you write on the back. I was going to do it so you write in here. So in which case, we're going to need a piece of card. And I reckon it's probably going to need to be three by five. So just a bit of white card just to go in there to write our message on. So I'm going to cut out a piece of white card. Uh, while you guys all let me know in the comments if you want me to do a six by six version. At the moment, what have we got? Oh, we've got lots of yeses. Yes, please. So Shelley, Karen, Valerie, Tracy, Anne, Anne, Jill, Sandra, Cindy, Ali, Sally, Joe, Mandy and Valerie. Everyone says yes. So that's a yes then. <laughs> that's a yes. I think we can categorically say that's a unanimous yes. Right, let me get a three by five piece of card, which I didn't pre-prepare. Let me quickly grab a bit. Oh, bear with. What's that one? Is that that's a two and a half. That's a little bit too skinny. I need a three by five. Okay, let me just grab a piece of A4 and cut it down. Let me grab a piece of A4, cut it to size. Right, so let's cut a three by five. There we go. So that's my white piece. I'm not going to do a should really do a mat around it, but I'm not going to do a mat. Don't think we need a mat. And then I just need to, while I've got the, the thing out, I'm going to get the white card ready for the other, for the um, for the 6x6 six six version. You can see my brain's not working, can you? Right, so let's, I think there needs to be a 4x4. Four four. Where's a 4x4? Four four? Right, okay. Put that there let's put that there let's put you all back on my thingy bob right there we go okay 
so let's quickly stick this down in here so open this up so that's going to go in the middle it does need a oh it really does need a mat it needs a mat <laughs> it needs a mat oh, i can't cope with that not having a mat deary me right let me find my card that i used it was out of this uh tropical card pack is the mat so that's where it's from um right okay let me get a piece out oh. right bear with everybody bear with bear with so that was three by five so i need it to be three and a quarter by five and a quarter so five and a quarter three and a quarter there we go if you're new to the live stream, please don't be put off by my little dance of the zooms earlier. I don't normally have a dance of the zooms quite as bad as that. One day I will figure out how to do live streaming software. But until then. Oh, yeah, well, exactly, Diane. That's what I thought. I'll be doing all the maths for you. So it's actually quite easy, if I'm honest. Um kind of the formula behind how it all works is actually quite easy so um once you've done a couple you kind of figure it out i just noticed that white bit's got a bit of a weird edge on it but if i move it on that edge there it should be fine there we go right let's stick this down oh the sun's coming out that's nice it's nice to see the sunshine on an autumnal day. Okay, right, let's stick this in the middle. Up there. So there we go. And then hopefully, oh, let's move it down a little bit. I don't really want it to show. So maybe you want to, might want to go a little bit smaller because that's now not central. I just didn't want it to show when the card is shut. Still got a little bit wiggle room. Oh, so it's a little bit wonky, but it's not too bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind. Um, there's a tiny bit of an edge there. But yeah, so there you go. So that's the 5 by 7 portrait version. I have got a landscape that's a, coming as a tutorial soon. I have videoed it. I just need to edit it and upload it. So that is that one. So let's do the 6 by 6 Now, the 6 by 6 I'm actually not using my papers for the 6 by 6 I'm using some new papers that I got from um, In Love Art Shop. So I did an order recently and I've got a craft haul video which will be coming, uh, but I haven't had a chance yet to edit it all together. So this pack, let me quickly show you this pack. This is the pack, it's called Christmas and I just love the colours. And it's all kind of like your um, teals, like pinky reds um cinnamony chocolatey colors uh and it's beautiful very nice papers so this is the pack i'm going to be using today so don't forget to use oh yeah my codes as well so if you're going to in love art shop use my code iced images all in one word that gets you 20 percent off and helps me out because i get commission off that and if you go to coco as a studio because they also it's the same company they also have paper packs and things as well um if you use my code iced 20 that also gets you 20% off. And again, I get commission off that. So it just helps. Just pennies here and there, but it helps. Um, it's beautiful. This paper is really beautiful. It's really lovely. So in the um, craft hall, in fact, let me quickly let me quickly show you these because they are beautiful. <laughs> I do I do show you in the craft hall video, but let me just quickly show you in here anyway. So we've got a start from the back. We've got this one, which I think is beautiful. I really love that. This 3D geometric kind of way. Then we've got this, which also is beautiful, and this one, and this one with the cinnamon sticks, and some like it's almost like a fake sequin. But I like it, it's just a nice sort of texture. And then we've got that one, we've got gingerbread men, we've got more, and then that geometric bit just in the brown, and then this one with the teal and the presents, and then like a red, um, a red one, and then also uh this one because I've used two sheets because two sheets of each design. Um, one thing I thought that sort of jumped out at me with this 
is things like these you could fussy cut out add some glossy accents or some you know some kind of sparkly shiny or heat embossed or i don't know and use them as actual like ephemera so that was what i thought oh no diane okay yeah we well, can replay it later thank you so much um yeah it is a beautiful it's a beautiful paper pack this one and they're all 160 gsm which is good wood free paper 12 designs two sheets acid free and lin linen free so yeah there you go so that's that pack so what we need to do is that's the one for the white piece it goes back so what you need is you're going to need a base piece that's six by ten and we're literally going to do what we did last time so we're going to put our paper into our scoreboard score, and we're going to score along the long edge again and we're literally going to score one two three and four inches so one inch two inches three inches oh let me move it down a bit more and four inches okay so there you go um let me just hopefully you can see the measurements there one two three and four so there we go yes karen exactly you like when you acknowledge my comments it makes me want to keep commenting exactly i know yeah well exactly this is this is the thing some people don't do it and then you just think well why am i bothering <laughs> exactly exactly the thing is i do see some people's live streams um where they just it's literally the, the, the comments are just going super super fast and they can't you just can't keep up you, know, you couldn't you wouldn't be able to do it so obviously it's nice at the moment it isn't it isn't there's there's good things to um there's good things to having a smaller channel and there's also not so good things so you know um right i'm just trying to remember what i've done here i went down then across then down then across so so i've gone down one inch and then we go across one inch that's one inch then we go down two inches and also on this edge here down two inches so the measurements are exactly the same so you're literally doing oh hi linda that's all right i'm i this looks like right we're doing you've probably seen this one already we're doing a cascading pleats card so I, i've seen this a while ago i saw something similar um and then i saw susan campfield had done this but as a landscape so I thought I'd have a go. So I've done a five by seven portrait. I've done a five by seven landscape with this tutorial coming up for that. And then I'm, we're now doing a six by six. Just cover all the sizes, all the UK sizes we're doing. So it just stands up like that. And it just, it's just very nice. Just like it. And these papers are my new papers that are available on my Etsy shop. So the links are all in the description below. So let's get my cutting mat back again. Um... Who else was there? Diane, you used to make custom drapery for decades. The math you've got simple. Now that you're retired, though, you love it when somebody else does it. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. There are sometimes I'm like, oh, let me just look and see if I can find a video where someone's already done the maths for me. <laughs> so, oh dear. Yeah, well, this is the thing, Sandy Jo. So this is why people have moderators on their lives. When they get older, uh, bigger, they have like a channel. Yeah, a channel. They have like a team um and that you have somebody who does that for them i know may may craft she has like someone moderating for her and i think susan does as well There's, you know most of them do um but obviously i'm not i'm not that large i don't have people who i would ask i don't know who i would ask to do it so i, I can't employ anybody at the moment so yeah it's just me it's just little old me so we just carry on there we go right so we have done the same thing again cut down our little flow chart so we've gone little stairs going down and then we're going to do exactly the same thing again that we did before so thank you diane that's very nice that's very nice of you um so we're going to fold that along that four inch line and then these are just valley mountain valley along concertina fold and i find if you fold it along that edge you can kind of make sure it goes straight because sometimes concertinas go off a little bit in fact, this one looks like it is a little bit going off oh so there we go so that's your concertina um 
Momo was the one I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. That chat, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It goes like the clappers. <laughs> it really does. Right. So on this back panel here, we want a matte piece that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Just going to go in there. And a pattern piece, which is five and a half by five and a half. And then I've also cut out a square of white that is, I think this was four by four. Yeah, four by four. So it's just going to go on there that you're going to put your message on. I'm not doing a mat because my mat is white, so it makes sense. I love these papers. Can we just appreciate how nice these papers are? Oh, my goodness. And I really would like to um, do what I was saying about with the ephemera. I haven't actually cut a greeting out for this yet, so I might well be using some of those. I just feel like they need to be used. So let's just stick this down. Oh, I discovered something in Lidl. Now, it was a, mm, a couple of weeks ago, I would say. So it might not still be in there. But they had these creative box, Marabou, um, paints. And it was a set of four. So you get a copper, a gold, a green and a silver. And they're all metallic. And I tried them last night on a bit of card and they're really nice so um yeah if you're in if you've got a little near you you might want to have a look and see they weren't very expensive they were like there was a they were doing two for eight pounds so it was four pounds four pounds for um four pounds each it works out as and they had other colors they had like some day glow fluorescent ones as well which i've got a pack of those as well which i'll show you in a moment i haven't actually tried the fluorescent ones but they cover really nicely. They're not too thin, which is what I thought they were going to be. Um, let me just stick this on. There we go, nice and straight. And then I'm going to wait to put the white one on, actually, I think. Um, the base piece on this square one is 6 by 10 And then, yeah, 6 by 10 And then you've also got a 5 by 5 and a 4 by 4 so on the five by five piece, which is another base piece, you need a mat, which is four and three quarter by four and three quarter and a pattern, which is four and a half by four and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. Um, Shelley, you think Momo's chat is because they all chat to each other. She does craft your treats. Yeah, so they all, yeah, that's true. They do meet. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason. Quite possibly. Um. But I know, yeah, I do know that obviously when it starts getting a bit more busy, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit more difficult to keep up with the chat. It's a bit more tricky. Um, I sometimes struggle, you know, if I ask a question of, you know, do you want A or B or whatever, and suddenly it's like A, B, B, A, A, B, 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 A, B. It's like, ah! <laughs> I have to go back and scroll back and work out what's what. Um, right, there we go. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Jill? I love this paper. I really love this paper. It's just so nice. Oh, it's just so nice. It really is. I, I, I'll literally be rinsing out this pack. I know I will be. Okay, and then the other base piece you want is a four by four. And then the mat is a three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And the pattern is a three and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. And then we will stick it all together. Uh, I do need to sort out, as I said, a greeting for this and I will sort one out in a moment I kind of want to heat emboss some some little bits of paper cut fussy cut some bits out and heat emboss them um oh see I'd like to glossy accent them but I'm worried my paper's going to wrinkle if I glossy accent them because that's I think what tends to happen um it's 160 gsm so it might not wrinkle I don't know so one of them, do we risk it? Do we risk it or not? I don't know. Okay, so that's that one. So then we just want to go ahead and this is going to go on this tab here. So I need to put some glue on there. Put some glue on there. I've actually got another order from In Love Art Shop coming through. And so I'm sort of holding on because I'd quite like to do that in with the paper packs uh, but I might end up having to do a separate video if it takes you know a bit longer to come they've been quite quick actually recently I've been quite impressed because they used to take quite a long time and um, also if you do have any problems with Coca Rosa or in Love Art Shop if you email them 
uh, please make sure you check your spam folders because um, sometimes when they reply, it might go into your spam. So just double check that. Um, right, let's just do this. And if you do have any problems with them, um, please let me know and I can I can try and sort out from my end because they always respond straight away to me. Um, so, yeah. Right, so then this one is going to go on the front like we did with the 5 by 7 So let's just stick that down like that. Like that there we go stick it on card before fussy cussing oh yes try um glossy accents on a scrap piece from the paper stock yes i think i'm going to try that it's just it takes time it takes time to dry so that's my number one obviously we're on a live stream you don't want to sit and watch glossy accents dry um let's put this one on the in the inside so if that's there which is central are we going to see that when this is shut? No, we're not. Hurrah. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. Uh, in fact, before I do that, let me stamp it. Let me stamp it. Stick it on card. Yeah, I'm, I probably will stick it on card before fussy cutting. I just didn't know. Even then, sometimes it, it goes a bit wibbly wobbly. I don't know. I'm not very good with... Um, not very good with uh, glossy accents. I don't use it very much. I would rather heat emboss, but even then they, it curls, so I'd rather heat emboss because I know then it's done. It's you know, I haven't got to be waiting for it to dry, and because I know myself, I'm going to end up putting it to one side so it doesn't get knocked, and then later on picking it up, forgetting the fact that it's not dry yet, and then I end up messing it up. So I've done that a billion times, so yeah. Right, there we go, that's that. So, so Karen Reeves, I think you're a bit behind. I don't think you're watching live. I think you... Because <laughs> uh, we, we are doing a 6 by 6 now. So you'll in a minute, when you get to this bit of the video, you'll realise. <laughs> you'll realise it's fine. It's the fine. I do that sometimes. I click onto a live stream and I think I'm live and actually we're not. <laughs> I'm actually watching it back. <laughs> I'm watching the replay. Oh dear. Right, let's just give that a bit of a clean. There we go. Pop that back down there again. There's my have yourself a merry little Christmas. That is that. Let's stick that in the middle there. Make sure it's properly dry. Right, let's stick this down. And then I need to... Um, and then I need to do some ephemera and work out what greeting I want. Right, so I reckon about there. Is that gonna? Yeah, that's okay there. Okay, that's good. That's good. That works. There we go. As I said, if you wanted to, you don't want it there, you can always put your message on the back. But I just thought, mm, it's sort of hidden. When it stands up, it's sort of hidden because you've kind of got that in the front of it. So yeah right so now we need to find a suitable um a suitable greeting for this let me have a look see what we've got uh what do we got what do we got what do we got what have we got what have we got over here let's have a look let's have a look Talk amongst yourselves. I'm just finding a, a greeting. So I'll try and prep in advance, but best love plans and all that. Uh, no, not there. Okay. Let me have a look in my Christmas box. <coughs> Excuse the squeak. Excuse the squeaky squeak. Right, Christmas. Let's have a look. I feel like something round might be useful. Sort of like a not too big. Mm, I'm not sure about that one. Got a winter wishes. No, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, might end up being a die cut. I think it might end up being a die cut. <laughs> right, let's have a look through my die cuts and see what we've got. I need something suitable. Suitable. 
Oh, my Coca Rosa one. I need a new die folder for my Coca Rosa dies. This one is getting Ramma Jamma Ding Dongs. This one is. I've got that Rejoice. I do like that Rejoice, but I don't feel like it fits on the front of a. Oh yes, there's a there's a video coming up for this card, by the way. No, <laughs> no, I haven't fallen off my chair. Don't worry. <laughs> It's been, it's been touch and glow, go at some sometimes, some live streams, but not this time. Not this time, thankfully. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's maybe chuckle. Nope, not falling off. <laughs> right, these are old dies now. Let's see what we got. What do we got? I might end up looking in the sentiments folder. These are all like birthdays. Nope, nothing in there. No, <laughs> I didn't scream. No, no, it's just I've got this uh, plastic storage box thing and it's right on the top, top of my shelving. And so you have to kind of pull it off. And when you pull it off, it goes against the uh, top of the cupboard. And so, yeah, um, that's what makes the noise. Right, let's have a look in this one. Oh, they're all the same folder. I love these folders. They're all the same folders. Right, this is my Christmas one. Let's see what we can find in here. Any good sentiments that are big enough that sort of fit? You want just like a Merry Christmas or a... See, I quite like this one. This one would be quite good. I don't know if you can see that. This would be quite a good one, but it's a bit too big for that because it's too... Yeah, it's a bit... It's literally, it would literally cover the whole thing, but that's quite nice because that kind of cosy, cosy Christmas look um ah oh, that one maybe that have a merry christmas might work i do like this one but i don't know if that's too big i think that's seven inches oh it's six. Ooh, see i like this one i really like this merry christmas let's see oh, oh, oh you'd have to literally mm, it's a bit it's a bit big it's a bit long this is better for like a five by seven landscape rather than like a square card i quite like to have a merry christmas though so i think i might use that one i don't know if that's going to be too i wanted something kind of roundy i wanted like a roundy one hmm hmm this is where the problems come choosing see this is the stuff you, i try and sort all this out before i come on so I, you don't have to sit and watch me trying to choose things but when we go off piste, I'm afraid, this is what happens. Right, okay, let us try with, uh, let me put it in love, see if I've got anything. Of them. I don't think I have any Christmas for in love. Let me have a look in the way of dies. Oh, I've got that one, Silent Night. Again, it doesn't really fit with what I've got there. Hmm. Okay. Um. Right, we'll just try my Ducraft ones. Oh, we'll get them in a minute. People will get them in a minute. Bear with. Bear with. We're going stripey. We are going stripey. Because in here, I think, that Let It Snow bauble one I had, I think there are other ones in here. Yeah, so here we go. We've got a Ho Ho Ho. Ho, 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 which is not too bad. You probably got the little bit sticking out the top. Oh, my goodness. You like watching me go through my dies. Good. I'm glad somebody does because <laughs> I don't want to bore you all. <laughs> just, just wanted like a... I know what I want, but I can't see what I want. And I don't know if I've got what I want either. I'm not sure if I've got what I actually need. Um, hmm. Oh dear, Nicole. I don't like trick or treaters. I hate Halloween, so I shall be staying inside tonight. The door will not be open to anybody at all. And uh, yeah, you can go elsewhere. Oh. Right, let me have a look. Last look 
Last place to look is my trim craft folder. Let's see if there's anything in there. We will get there somewhere in a minute. The snow globe, the one with the Christmas tree. Yeah, I quite like that one, but it's just, um, it's a bit big. The words Merry and Bright from the stripy folder on plain bauble. Um, oh, the Merry and Bright from the stripy folder. The Merry and Bright one. Oh, that one might work. That one might work. The Tis the Season star. Oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> can't get it off the. <laughs> can't get it off the sheet. Come on. There we go. That's the one. Tis the season. It's a nice size. I like it. I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one, everybody. Tis the season with a little bow. Don't look. Don't look any further, Louise. Stop looking. Stop looking. Put the folder away. Put the folder away. Put the folder away. Right. Here we go. Put the folder away. Right. So I think it needs to be a mirror. A mirror card to make it kind of stand out. And I'm wondering, do we go? I kind of feel like we need to go this tealy colour in a mirror because um, it'd be oh, no, flicking card everywhere. It'd be nice if it was a mirror card, like a real mirror. I've got like the matte mirror. I'd like it to be shiny, shiny. Do I have any shiny, shiny? I do, Linda. I do have so many. Um, it's from working, it's from doing all the work. I get sent them. Uh, teal. I'm just looking for teal Miri. Hold on, everybody. Oh, that works. That's matte though again, isn't it? Bear with, bear with. Uh, just trying to find some Miri that works. Where's my Miri gone? Oh, bear with a second. Um, yeah, definitely teal. I do, yeah, so I have got a lot of dyes. I do have a lot. It's because of working. Like this, if, if I went through those and pulled out all the ones I've actually paid for, like actually bought myself, I think you'd probably have half of a folder. Um, so, yeah. Right. I don't think I've got any teal shiny. Let me have a look through. Um, I've actually got, oh, just bear with a second, my brain is trying to work out what I have and what I can use. Pearlized, I've got pearlised card, but I feel like it needs to be shiny. Oh, I suppose I can heat emboss. I don't really want to heat emboss. I suppose I could. I've got this sparkle print. I might sparkle print and then I think I might. So these are actually my old Paper Mill Direct swatches um, and they've got a sea blue sparkle print. But I think I might use that, cut it out of that and then I think I might heat emboss it. I think is what I'm going to do because then it will stand out. Yeah, I did think about silver, Shelley. Oh, silver or gold. Okay, we've got a few people saying silver and gold. Okay, you know what, I'm going to cut it out of both and then we'll see which one works best because I can always use them. Because obviously I could just put them in with this pack and then just use them in with this pack. So let me just cut around here. Very rough cut. There we go. And he just made it. And he just left enough space. Oop, to Daisy, I'm knocking things off now. Oh dear. Knocking baubles flying. And then let me get some silver. Get some silver as well. And we'll cut a bit out of both and we'll see what we think looks best. And very much I have to see it. Sometimes I can't always visualise it. A bit of silver. So we'll cut it out of silver. We'll cut it out of teal. And we'll see what works. That's the other one. Let's leave that there out of the way. Oh. Right, let me just cut these out. It's really nice, that, that tealy one. Um, I do like it a lot. The sparkle print. I like their sparkle prints. The sparkle prints are really because it's kind of like a glitter, but it's obviously it doesn't come off. It's not it's non-shed, but because you've got the holographic glitter on it, it really does 
add a certain je ne sais quoi. Now, do I want to put anything on the back of this so I can stick it down? Mm, yeah, I think I do. Right, let me just stick a thingy on the back, a bit of um, double-sided adhesive sheet. So I've got these double-sided adhesive sheets from Dot and Dab. I've literally rinsed them out. I've only got one sheet left. Use them so much. They're so good because they actually um, they die cut really well. So I'm going to stick this on the back of there. Turn that up, sure, I think. Yep. So let me just roughly cut this out and stick it on. Stick that onto there and also onto the back of that teal one. Uh, the only tricky bit is trying to get the backing off. Oh, I let it then. There we are. Right, let's just stick that down. You can just use double sided tape as long as it's like a tissue tape and it's not too, it hasn't got like a plasticky backing, then you're usually all right. So, there's that one got double sided, so that's ready to go. Let's do this one as well. I'm just going to stick, actually, no, let's just, no, I'm actually going to stick that down before I, I'm going to stick it on before I um, do any kind of cutting. So stick that on like that. And then just go around it. There we go. Right, so that can all go in the bin. So let's die cut these. So we've got this one. Let's die cut this one. This little star out. I should really put this through my um, Gemini, really. But the big shot it is. I'll do a couple of runs through. And then if it's not cut, I'll turn it upside down. Yep, it hasn't quite cut, so let's turn it upside down. That always seems to work. Turn it upside down, put it through again, and back again. There we go. Has that done it this time? Possibly. Possibly it has. Let's get my pin. Right, let's put the middle bits out. Okay, so it's going to take it with it. Because I'm going to have to put this on a backing. And I think I just need to find a red. Oh, okay. So this is actually coming off. Right, I didn't want to take all the backing off right now. I wanted to kind of take the whole thing out. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's just the season doesn't want to come out. Come on, mister. My die cutty bits need to come out. Right, let's put the silver on. Yeah, the silver looks quite nice. I don't know if it stands out enough. I'll show you in a minute once I've just picked me poked my bits out here. There with. Got fingers are covered. Now that is the season. I'd normally keep those letters, but today because we're on a live and I'm sort of rushing, so I'm not boring everybody to death while cutting out bits that I normally do not on a live. Um. <laughs> Hands are covered. Hands are covered in silver pieces. So, put everything out. More or less. Because I need this now to cut out of the teal. I think the teal is going to be my favourite, actually. I have to say, I think. I'll just get my silver bits off my hands. And covered in them. And there we go. We are silver free. Right, one more in the corner there. There we go. Is that free now? That's free. Okay, so that is the silver. Like, it's okay. Oh, you see the sun coming on my desk now. It's okay, I quite like it. But I feel like the teal is going to pop more. It might not. The teal might disappear. I don't know. Let's try the teal. And see what we think. Right, running it through. 
I'm going to get that. I'm going to go through again just because it's quite thick that sparkle print. And roll it back. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's cut reasonably well. Hopefully, it's cut enough. Right. Okay. We're getting there slowly. Slowly but surely. Let's clean all my little bits off. And then just poke these out. Bits sticking to me left, right, and centre. Right, let's poke these out. There we go. There we go. So this one looks like that. Is the sunshine getting in the way? Shall I shut the curtain? So that's the teal one. I haven't pulled the letters out. And that's the silver one. What do we think? Teal or silver? Move this down here a little bit if you can. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me just shut this curtain because I feel like the sunshine, much as I love it, is obstructing things a little bit. Right, hopefully that's not too dark now. Silver, teal. Teal, 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 teal. There <laughs> we go. I think that's any silvers at all? Anybody, anybody for the silver? I did like the silver. No, teal. Okay, fine. Silver, says Liz. We've had one silver. Any more silvers? Any advance on the silvers? You like the teal? Okay, it sounds like it's the teal then. I, I do like the silver. I feel like it pops a little bit more. Yeah, teal with silver shadow. Now that's an idea. That is an idea, actually. I was going to mount it onto a red, so then because obviously you've got them you're looking through. But I might not need to. We'll see how busy it looks if it's not mounted. Oh, let's just... Yeah, I think a teal with a silver shadow could be for the win. Because it kind of echoes that white mat that we've already got. So I feel... Um, yeah, I think the drop shadow idea is definitely a good plan. Definitely up for that one. Let me just uh, oh, let me pick my bits out later. You don't. I don't need to pick my bits out now. So let me just do it later. Move that there like that. Right. Okay. So if we do that, it's gonna be. Yeah, I quite like that. I like the drop shadow idea. I like the drop shadow idea. We'll do that. We will do a drop shadow. That sounds good to me. So let's just take out the rest of my letters. I feel awful not using these letters, but anyway, tough, tough bananas. Let's take all this out. Apologies that I'm kind of off camera a little bit. Just picking all my bits out that don't need to be there. Um, because I could, if I'd have cut, if I'd have kept all my Thing is I could have actually inlaid my Tis the Season letters into my teal die cut, but I didn't, so that's that. That is indeed that. Let's pick out this season one. This is an old, if you're interested in this die, I don't know if you can even still get it. This is an old one from, I think it was a, actually, you know, it might be still available. I think it was a Simply Creative one. So you might be able to get it if you look on drkcrafts.co.uk in their Christmas section because they're having a clear out at the moment. You might find it in there. I know they've got a lot of the Simply Creative dies for like no money at all. Like you're talking 25 pence, 75 pence. Do you know what I mean? Like bargain prices. So um, it might be worth having a look because I can't remember when I got this. But it was like a singular die. It was like on its own. Uh, right, that one is all good to go. So let's take that little tiny one off there. Can, you, can I whiz you somewhere else, Mr. Spot? There we go. That's all right, Sally Ann. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You can always watch back. 
you can flick through all the zooming out, the zoom in and out wars that we did, <laughs> and everything else. Oh, yeah, it might be Shelley. Um, that's all right. Um, thank you, Vicky. Right, let's. Oh, it's trying to get the drop shadow just right, isn't it? That's the other problem. Oh, I haven't, put, I haven't taken out my um, silver bits at the top either. Let me take my silver bits out at the top. There we go. Right, let's um, do our little drop shadow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bear with. Oh goodness, this is a surgical procedure. It's a bit too far. Right there, I think. Oh gosh. Could probably just stick it onto the card first, couldn't I? But I want to make sure I get it central, which is why I'm sticking it here first. There we go, that's kind of okay. The top of that ribbon's not quite there, but it's fine. That'll do. Right. Fabulous. Let's stick it down. Let's get it stuck on the card. Happy days. Yep, I think about there. There we go. Little tis the season. And then I wanted to, although I don't know whether I can do it now because it's getting a bit late now, but I was thinking about doing a, a heat embossy, glossy accent -y type. Cutting out some of these little shapes. Um, thank you, Sally Ann. Yeah, it was nice to be on it, to be honest with you. I was really, I was really um, happy to be asked uh, to be on it. I was thinking, well, the answer's definitely going to be yes. I mean, <laughs> like it's definitely going to be yes. Right, let me just cut a few of these little bits out. Uh, do I heat emboss or do I... So I'm wondering if I should glossy... You know what I might do? I might glossy accent them, stick them onto a card, like you said, glossy accent them, and then cut them out later when they're dried and stick them on. So you guys will only see, you'll see the final picture in the thumbnail, um, but you won't see it before then. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick them onto a bit of card and then glossy accent them. Because um, I quite like that little mug. That mug there. I like the bauble actually. Let's just do the bauble as well. The bauble and the mug. Okay, so they're going to get stuck down. Um, I'm going to glue them down rather than tape them. And then I'm going to glossy accent them and let that dry and then cut round them once they're dry. I just think, because obviously if they do warp, then um, if they do warp, then at least I haven't damaged the card. Uh, so that's on that one there. And I also wanted a hat. Uh, you know what I might just do? I might just do most of the elements that's on here and then um, just keep them in the pack. I'll just glossy accent them up, keep them in the pack and just use them at a later date. Thank you, everybody. Time for bed, Anne. Yes, I'm surprised it's quite late, isn't it, there? Thank you for tuning in. Um... Let's just, I oh, need to make sure I properly glue it, not just do it on the outside. <laughs> okay. Let's stick this on here like this. There we go. And then I just want to stick my bauble, my other bauble, and my mug down. Uh, can I stick them in here? I'm probably have to do one, then the other. Okie dokie. There we go. Okay, let's just quickly stick these down, glossy accent them up, and then I shall leave them to dry and hopefully 
it will work. We will see. To be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Let's just cut around there. Right. I could have just stuck a hole. Well, I had a lot of cuts, but you could just stick a whole piece on, onto card and do it that way and then cut around them. But anywho, we like to make things tricky. So, yeah. Right, that's that there like that. Okay. So, let me glossy accent. Um, oh, I've just got, I've got these new, um, well, I've got one of them. This new glue bottle with a little top on the ends. I'm hoping it's going to be better than the ones I've got with pins in them because my pin ones are not good. My glossy accents has gone slightly yellow. Is that normal? Do other people's go kind of yellow? You have to take the top off because the pin doesn't work in that. It's kind of weird as well. You know what I think? Uh, I don't know. Is that normal for glossy accents to go like that? Does anybody know? Oh, it's rock hard. Oh, goodness, that doesn't work because that's rock hard. That is literally rock hard. So I think I'm going to pull my glossy accents into here and hope for the best. Yes, is it normal for your glossy accents to go yellow? Please let me know. Oh, I'm going to have a disaster in a minute, I feel. Actually, no, let me not do that because I feel like I'm going to have a... I'm going to end up with it all over my desk, which could be a problem. This is just rock hard. It's all set in here. Like, it's all set in my nozzle. Maybe else have this problem? Oh, goodness. Maybe I should just heat emboss. Right, I'm going to... Yeah, see, this uh, happens a few times. You see, you see how yellow that is? Mm, I don't know. I'm tempted not to use that because that looks weird. I might just heat emboss. Because then we know it's done. I have got another one, but it's more of a glaze. Like it's not as um, 3D. I've got this one, this uh, shimmer, clear varnish lacquer. But as you can see, it's very liquidy, and it does make, um, yeah, it does. It's not good. It's not good. It, well, it is good, but it, it does make your um, card, uh, what's it, wrinkle. That's what I'm looking for. Makes it wrinkle. So I'm going to clear heat and boss. Which could be tricky to cut around it later, but we will jump that bridge when we get to it. Oh, it doesn't impact the effect. Okay, that's good then. Um, yeah, the rusty pin thing, I see I had glossy accents and it was in its an original pot and it still went yellow. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna open this curtain again because it's gone a bit dark. I know I've got sunshine on my desk, but it doesn't matter now because you don't need to be able to see colours. So uh, let me just heat emboss these. Ah, put the needle in soap, then the glue comes out easily. Okay, cool. Is that sunshine really affecting everybody or is that okay? I just like a bit of sunshine, it's just nice. It's a bit shadowy, but anyway. Um, right, I'm just gonna, no, actually let me shut the curtain again. Dear me, starts the zooms, starts the curtains. We're not having a good one today, are we? It's just a bit dark, that's all. Right, let me use my cork board. And then I was going to use my UT, I think. Yeah, let me use UT. I hope they'll be able to cut around it after. I'm not sure. We will see. But yeah, I will do that. I'll put the needle in soap and then the glue comes out easily. I'll give that a go. Right, let's do a bit of... Um, what's in the jigging? Got an old piece of scrap paper. This is one of my old demos that I used to do. I'm just going to literally... Oh gosh, why has that gone blue? Oh, this is the old one. I don't want to use this one. This is my <laughs> this is my old wow embossing pad. I wanted to use this one, Dovecraft Premium Embossing Stamp Pad, because this one's really inky, really sticky, and works very well indeed. And I'm literally going to um, I'm going to ink the whole thing. Oopsie Daisy, she's just flicking it across the desk. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to cut round that easily, but we'll see. We'll soon find out, won't we? You can see how sticky this is. Look how inky that is. It is wonderful. Right, okay. There we go, like that. So then, got 
beauty. Let's quickly wipe this on. I'm trying to kind of keep my UT to just where the design, where I want to heat emboss, not the whole thing, even though I've inked up the whole thing. And then that way, I might do those little bits there. There we go. Right, so that is that. And then I'm going to bring in my little heat embossing thingy bob. Excuse the noise. This is just basically like a metal tray thing. I'm just going to go in and heat emboss it. I need a second layer, I think. Right, let me get a peg. I've got a peg here, but let me just get a peg just to pick this up with. There we go. And then I'm going to ink it up again. This is why I have the, the um, what's it? The tray. It's very dark. Let me just switch the light on. It's very dark. Very dark indeed. That's better. That's better. A bit of light. Right, let me do that again, and then another layer should be enough, hopefully. So let's just ink this up. There we go. Like that. Do another round of UT. I think I'll be able to cut through this. <laughs> we will see. There we go. Right, so let's heat that up again. So for those of you who've not used UT before, which I'm sure most of you have, the reason why I have the little um, foil thing, foil thing Bob, is to catch it. So when you if you're heating it up, sometimes it blows off. And then you don't end up with it all over your desk. You've got something to catch it in. Right. Back in with the old heat gun. Let it heat up for a moment. And I have a wooden peg because then it doesn't get super hot and burn your fingers. Apologies if you hear banging noises next door. My neighbours seem to be banging around. Oh, that's a good idea, Nicole. You used to make paper earrings, laminate them with UT. That's a very good idea. I do love a bit of UT. I have to say, heating bottom can be a bit addictive. I haven't done it for ages, but I do love it. It's just all the mess. I'm not a great into mess. Okay, that's a bit rough, but I don't mind it. I'm not going to go again. I should go again, really, but I'm not going to. Two loads is enough. Right, let's put that over there. Let's clear the decks of what feels like sugar all over my desk. <laughs> let's 
just clear the decky doos. Hopefully I can still cut through it. You've never heard of UT? Ultra thick embossing enamel, I believe is what it stands for. Um, so it's basically like a clear embossing powder, but it's it's a lot thicker, so the granules are not fine. They're like it's like granulated sugar. That's what it looks like. It literally looks like granulated sugar. So this is UT. If you can see that. You see how granulated that is. Like big thick chunky granules. It's literally like granulated sugar. Um, whereas embossing powder is a lot finer. So that is what it is. So that's that. And then this is the oh hang on, let me see if I can find a, a clear. Okay, this is a white one, just to give you a bit of an idea. This is a, an embossing powder. So you can see how that's literally like powder. It's not like it's more like icing sugar. So embossing powder is more like the icing sugar of the embossing world. UT is more like granulated sugar of the embossing world. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense to you. And so this, because it's like uh, ultra thick embossing enamel, it is literally like that. It's like enamel. Um, so yeah, it's great though. So if you can see, that's now shiny. Now it's got a bit of a texture to it because I haven't done a really good job on it, but <laughs> but it's fine, I don't mind. But if you build it up and up, if you keep putting more layers on, you can end up with a really nice, almost like a domed effect. So the thing now is, is it going to cut? That's another reason why I didn't want to put too many layers on. Oh yeah, it does, it does cut. Fantastic. So let's just fussy cut um, round the ball ball. And I wanted that mug as well. If you go too thick with this, I don't think it will then cut, but because I've only done like two layers, it's managing to cut round it. You need some good scissors there. Right, this is kind of concentration as I'm cutting. Not the best cutting in the world. That ball ball looks like it's seen better days, but anyway, once it's on, hopefully it'll be okay. I think as well, the sooner I cut this, the better. Once it goes rock hard, it probably won't cut very well. Um, I'm probably getting a bit close to this edge. I would like to have left a little bit of a border on it, but I'm literally going right up to the edge of the uh, of the mug. Elaine used to make UT in your range of melting pot. Be able to make pendants, fabulous. Yeah, I do love it. I just think it, I remember doing coasters once with it. And that was that looked good. Just like cork. I think they were cork coasters. Okay, we don't have much light here, so I'm struggling to fussy cut. But anyway, that will do. I'm going to leave inside the mug, although I feel like it needs to be cut out, but I'm not cutting. I've got a cat outside, scrabbling at the door. Um, Nicole, you put three to four layers on your earrings and cut with a craft knife. Ah, okay. Yeah, the melting pot is fun to play with. You know as well, I saw Wow at Wow and Bottom Powders. I saw them at a craft show and they were using um, a little iron, a flat iron. So not obviously not a steam one, just like a normal iron. And she melted the embossing powders on the iron surface. Obviously it's hot. And then use that then to like put the paper straight on. And uh, oh my goodness, some of the things she got, like the effects that she got from it, it was really good. And I wish I wish that I had like a video of how how she did it because she had some really good little good little ideas. So that's the hat. Gonna cut another ball ball and another mug, and then we're going to sort out where we want to put all these things. Just feel like it needs a bit of something else. It's a bit of a longer live stream than normal. Apologies if I'm not boring you all. Um, just we went off piste, and when you go off piste, this is what happens. 
normally live streams about an hour aren't they but this one is now how much what are we up to now an hour and 15 hour and 10 something like that. there we go right there's that one this is like a this is proper live stream material this is we're proper having a play <laughs> we started off with like a, a normal kind of tutorial and then we kind of went off piste right let me cut around here again i should have done a bit more of a ooh. um yeah marion marion's good oh has she okay cool yeah i like marion um again at these uh they were like trade because i used to work in um we used to do my craft classes in an art and craft shop and so as part of that we went on um like supplier i don't know what you call them they're like trade so anybody who stocked wow and boston powders they would go along and you'd have like workshops it'd be like a day of like workshops with um where it started off with just wow and then they had other people in as well and uh yeah it was great so you got to try different things got to you know, you used to go home with a goodie bag and, oh, it was just such fun. And Marion was there, so we'd get to meet her as well and the WOW team. And, yeah, it was just good. It was just good. And we did, like, different techniques, things that I would never have done at home. Some of them were a bit too messy for me. I was a bit like, ah, oh, anxiety, I can't deal with this. It's too messy. So, um, yeah, see, Nicole, again, I remember doing encaustic wax when I was a teenager. So I remember going to some craft fair, I think it even like a fete, like a village fete or whatever. And there was a guy there and he had a hot iron, like you say, the non, not the steam ones, the flat ones. Um, and he was doing encaustic wax and I've still got that box with the wax in it. I did have a play and I made like loads of different like um, backgrounds with it. Uh, and this is before I even kind of properly got into card making. Um, but uh, I haven't touched it since, but it was fun. He did like, oh, it was just amazing. It was mesmerising watching him create these beautiful landscapes using this encaustic wax. It just was amazing. And I would love to do it again. But again, it's just those things of having time, isn't it? I mean, like I'm just on a, I want a tread wheel of trying to keep up. So, yeah, it doesn't really happen. Right, I think that's all of them. Fabulous. But I will look up that on YouTube for Marion because um, I would like to see, I would like to see that. Right, okay, so here's my little bits. I've got a few mugs, a couple of baubles and a hat. So I think if we have like a... Actually, the hat needs to go over here. So put the hat there. Have a bauble here. And then... Hmm, I, I might just stick with those two on the front and then I was just thinking around here maybe just like a a hat and a mug or maybe not that one just have the mug down the bottom I think I might just do a mug down the bottom and then these can keep for another time actually because I've got a mug there so if I put that there that is pretty much yeah I think we'll do that you can also put a pile of wow powders in between baking powder, yes. Uh, an iron to make embellishments, yeah. So once you've done that, once you've put them in between the baking thing and you've ironed them, how do you go about um, turning that splodgy mess into an embellishment? That's what I'd like to know. How does that work? Use that. Oh, actually, let me use red tape because red tape's going to grab it straight away. I use glue because it's slightly curly. So if I use glue, it is going to um, it's going to curl up. That's one thing I don't I, I don't like about heat embossing is I usually end up with it being curly, and that annoys me. I don't like curly things. Well, not on cars anyway. Curly fries are alright, but <laughs> but not on not on cards. Let's just cut this down, put that on like that, and then I'm just going to fold that back, I think, to stick it down. My pins, did I put them back? And I put one back. Where's the other one gone? Oh, dearie me. We have turned into a bit of a disaster zone. Oh, it's there. 
dived itself off the edge. Yes, Nicole, I agree. I think we need you to do a demo as well. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. I shall have to look into it and see. I'm sure Marion's got um I'm sure Marion's got demos somewhere online. Let's just stick that one there like that. This one up here like this. And then that's the front done. I don't want to go too crazy with it because I feel less is more. But it does need something. So let's stick this down. That one's going to go up there like that. So that's that one done. And then on here, let's have one little mug and then we are done. Big old motorbike going past or car. Quite a lot of boy races down my road. So it could well be one of those. Oh dear. There we go. Right. Let's just stick this down. Heat once more and impress an oh an ink stamp into the splodge. Oh now Nicole, now you're getting you're talking now. <laughs> you're talking. I have done that technique with the stamp. Because you need to, when yeah you're supposed to cover your stamp with um clear ink aren't you first so you make sure you don't um so it comes out easily and stuff like that yes oh my cat's like come on I must have finished by now I want attention okay there we go right let's just clear away my other embellishments I'm going to put them in the pack of paper so that I've got them for another time and let's get all the cards back on the table. So we have, let's have a bit of a tidy up. Trying to drop everything on the floor. Up there, that there. Right, okay, so we have that one, that one, and that one. So there you go. Hopefully you can see all that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the dance of the Zoom earlier. My camera i don't know how we fix that i really don't um any pigment ink will do oh okay dark oh yeah okay cool i'm gonna have a go with that nicole at some point i am if i get time <laughs> it's a magic word if i get time um yeah so there you go so there's your, your different versions and i have also done there'll be a tutorial coming soon with the five by seven but as a landscape as well so stay tuned for that one so yeah apologies for it being a bit dark here as well Thank you everyone for coming to join me and for bearing with all my disasters today. My not life seems not normally as disastrous as today's, but sadly today was a different kind of a day. Uh, make sure to go over to Etsy and uh, have a look at my digital papers. Um, also go and have a look over at Craft Stash and um, just make sure that you uh, use you know click through the links because uh, then I get a few pennies commission if you do buy anything. Um, and then obviously in Love Art Shop, use iced images and that will get you 20% off and it also helps me. So yeah, right, and breathe. And then I'm going to go and lie in a darkened room. I'm going to take you all off the ceiling, so excuse me for the moving around. So close up of that one. There you go. Close up of that one. And a close up of that one. There we go. Right, I will see you all next week everybody have a good week see you later bye